In this review we take a look at a type of trailer we have not seen before, on cranes etc. The trailer is a Bross House 2 Connect Combi in a 2 plus 3 axle variant. In this model the trailer is paired up with a Scania R normal CR20N 6x2 twin steer and it also comes with two 20 foot shipping containers. As you can see the model comes in standard WSI packaging and there are a number of parts to get out of the box. This model is a limited edition and it comes in the colours of Nigerian Transport of the Netherlands and the collector card included with the model states that 216 have been made. We will start by connecting up the trailer elements to the tractor and the two axle unit connects to the tractor in the usual way and clunk click does the trick and then the three axle unit slides in to connect to the two axle and form a rigid trailer. The trailer is designed for carrying containers and we need to add some container locks and they clip in and once they're all attached the giant hand crane can get to work and load up the containers. Once in place they're effectively held and don't slide about. We go underneath the Scania and there's the expected high detail. That includes a black gearbox and there are various tanks and boxes. And all of the drive shaft and axle components are there. The driven axle has different tyres compared to the other two. Up on the roof there's a basket and two large air horns. And there are the famous Michelin Man characters. There's a decent light bar and a headboard with Mijuring on it. Very impressive is this absolutely tiny graphic in the windscreen. And this very high level of detailing is a high point of the model. The grille is modelled very well and there's a number plate and lights at the bottom. And Scania on the mud flaps. Looking close up there are more absolutely tiny graphics. And also some tiny lights. The side of the cab has got some nice sharp graphics and decoration and the wheels stand out with their multicolours. Behind the cab there are very nice chrome exhaust stacks. There are the usual coiled lines. And another standout point is the very high quality diamond plating. The wheel arches are also particularly good. At the back of the tractor unit the high detail continues. Moving on to the trailer and the two parts are built to a similar standard. They have a well detailed chassis and a nicely modelled structure. And they both have some nicely detailed control boxes. The wheels are also highly decorated to match the tractor unit. At the back there's some more excellent detailing including lights and graphics. The metal containers are very good with a nicely ribbed structure and the graphics are applied very well over that ribbing. At the back there are excellent highlighted door locks and if we zoom in some of the tiny graphics add really nice detail. You can see how small they are and they are surprisingly sharp. Another very nice touch is that both containers although they're the same have different serial numbers. The Scania has linked steering on the front two axles. And as you can see it works but with a limited range of movement. As on the road the model's not quite so sure footed at driving along and that's because the steering's a little bit loose. But with a finger doing the steering you can turn in a shallow curve. As you would expect the tilting cab has been engineered very well. And it does so without tipping the whole tractor unit over. And you can see the detailed engine underneath. Another very nice touch if you don't want to use the trailer is you've got a special cover for the fifth wheel. The two axle trailer unit rolls well enough. And a nice feature is that the axles have a sprung suspension. And you also have two options available for when this trailer unit is not connected to the tractor. There's a pair of landing legs which can be unscrewed and lowered and they reveal nice smooth pistons. And you can also fit stabiliser bars to the front of the trailer. And these would usually be used when there's a container on top. The free axle unit also rolls along nicely in a straight line. And when you're not feeling quite so steady you can lower landing legs. This part of the trailer also has working suspension but there's another feature 
which is the rear axle, which can be steered. As you can see, it has some movement, but it's not much before it starts fouling on the wheel arch. But it does let you at least adopt an interesting pose. And actually, it does follow a curve when steered. In use, the trailer can be opened up a little to get access to the front container doors, or they can be run as separate units. This is an interesting tractor and trailer combination by WSI Models. It has a very high standard of detailing, and that's matched up with some nicely engineered functionality. It is a great looking limited edition model in this colour scheme, and yes, overall it is excellent. <laughs>